Hi and welcome to South African Homesteader. So today I am going to be doing a video on seeding my peppers, sweet peppers, hot peppers, medium peppers, bell peppers, all of those and I'm going to be taking you along on this journey with me. Before we get into the video, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and for our for our regular subscribers, thank you for subscribing to the channel. We really appreciate you. So let's get into this video. With so this is a yellow paprika that came out of my garden yesterday. And you can see here, this is the color that if you leave it on for longer, then the whole um, chili will become this color. And then this is the cherry bomb. It looks almost like a tomato. It's actually a cherry bomb. And this also came out of the garden so I will be planting some more of these and I will also be planting some more of the yellow paprika so these are the harvests that I'm still getting of our green peppers at the moment and I will be sowing some more seeds like I just said for red peppers and green peppers and from the plants that this came from I'm actually going to keep um, and then we will be getting some peppers we've actually been getting peppers all through uh, summer and it's our winter now through autumn and into winter and they are still producing so because we are in a temperate climate where we can grow um, you know we don't get such harsh winters we can actually keep our pepper plants for um, more than a year it's not an annual by us it's actually a perennial so this, this is called Coco Peat. This is a, I think it's a 5 kg block of Coco Peat. And I will be cutting off a piece of this um, to use in my seed starting. I will be adding some hot water to it so that it can um, reconstitute or become nice and soft. And I will then use this in addition to some garden uh, potting soil and some of my perlite to do my seed starting in. Okay, so I'm just unwrapping this and you absolutely get a smaller, the smaller blocks and that you can find at Sodos or at um, any garden center that you support. And um, this is basically what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So once you add the water, then it swells out and it becomes um, soft where you can then, you can plant your seeds straight into this with some perlite as well. I prefer to add some garden soil that has some um, nutrients because look, the plants don't need nutrients while they are rooting. It's only once they have roots that the plants will then need some nutrition. Okay, and so this is what the composition looks like. This is some vermiculite, which are these little white thingies. And that also helps retain water, prevents the seedlings from drying out. And then you have your coca coir. You'll see some of it is at the little stringy bits. And then I mix in some, just any garden soil that you can buy at your um, garden center. Okay, so now I have filled all these trays and I just want to show you in order for me um, not to waste any anything I don't like to waste what I do is I put these trays next to each other and I just I can do so that the ends here and these ones are also sufficiently filled and you don't have them kind of half filled so you can just rub it all over the soil and then what I like to do is I now will brush all the excess off and even with these trays here, I sort of move this and then I put it here when I want here when I want to fill it like that. That's why I do this outside. And on these ends, I just I rub this over like that. That way I don't get any soil wastage. Let's see if there's any low spots. Dab it in. And all done. Okay, so this is now my seeding setup at the moment. This is um, 
the trays are all full and um, we've brought them in my husband's put up this light for me here so that I can see we do have light here and uh, the windows is light also but this just makes it easier for me and um, that's my chair over there and this is where I will be doing my seeding okay so I'm going to be planting in this 128 cell tray I'm going to be planting all my peppers besides the red bell pepper and the green bell pepper those I will be planting in one of the other trays okay so I'll just be poking a hole okay so I'll just be poking a hole in each of these cell trays with a and I use a chopstick okay so before I start what I do is I usually like to label um, all the uh, peppers that I will be planting so that I can just pop the labels on the front of the um, tray and the ones that are that I'm not doing a full row the one that I'm doing because this is like eight in a row and then some of these I will only be planting four cells and four cells another uh, uh, type then I will be putting the um, the sticker I'll be putting the sticker um, in at the back of the one type and then I will put the other sticker for the other type on the front of the cell tray okay so I'm going to the seeds that I got this year I got from Living Seeds so I am going to be planting some chocolate cherry um, black pearl Aji lemon Chinese five color new mix twilight also have uh, the uh, changes color as it ripens I've never planted these I eh? just sugar rush pepperoncini Italian Corno di Toro yellow and then the um, I've also got another sugar rash which I which I received in a seed swap I've also got some that I uh, some papers that I got from seeds for Africa so these are the ones that I got from seeds for Africa and these are I'm actually not going to be planting the orange sun sweet bell pepper because I have some in my garden and I only have three um, seeds left so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to be planting the Tabasco and I'm going to be planting a full row of those because I actually ordered two, two of these. These comes in this little seed packets. Um, cherry bomb which I do have and I have planted so I've got some cherry bomb that I am going to be planting in one of the other trays but that's going to be from seeds that I saved um, in my garden and in but I, in here I'm going to be planting the original cherry bombs um, Jamaican hot yellow chili um, this is the sugar rush uh, peach which I I received in a seed swap they actually see uh, actually one of the ladies brought it from Hopefield she had it couriered from Malkus no not from Malkus Durbanville somewhere and then pimento peppers I'm going to be planting as well as um, the Billy Biker paprika jalapeno um, Billy Biker jalapeno and yeah, I think it's about 24 varieties that I'm going to be seeding today. So, I will be keeping you updated as to how it's going to grow. Because what I'm going to be doing is, I'm actually going to be leaving it indoors. I'm going to leave it in this room. Because we're not using this room for anything currently. So, I'll be keeping it in, in here. Um, the trays. And then we'll be putting a light 
on top here. It's I don't have catchment trays at the bottom, so they will be sprayed from the top, these seedlings, but I'm going to be putting something at the bottom just in case we have like water dropping or something. So I'll be putting something at the bottom, but this is where I'm going to be starting my seeds and using as my seed rack. Okay, so now I'm going to be planting this um, Corno di Toro. It's a sweet pepper. And I've just put some seeds in here. I've already dropped one in each of those two cells there. And I'll just pick one up, drop it in there, pick up another one, drop it in there. I pick it up with my fingers. That's easy for me. Oh, drop that one in there. And in there. Don't know if I dropped one in here. So I'll just put one, another one in here. Okay, so I'm, I've done planting the yellow paprika, the bishop's crown, and now this is the corno de toro. So we is the, here we go. So now I'll just put my sticker on the side here with a date. And I don't have the date on all of them because all these, I don't have the date on all of them because all these would be planted on the same day because I wouldn't plant the tray and not fill the tray. So, but I'm going to continue planting the full tray. It's just awkward for me. It takes a lot longer when I uh, do the video. But this, I just basically, after I drop the seeds in, I just close the holes like that. See? Okay, so let me complete the tray and then I can get back to you. Okay, so at the back here we have chocolate cherry, we have black pearl, we have the jalapenos, and we have the paprika. And then in front here, these are the, um, the bikabali jalapeno, and then the cherry bomb, Jamaican yellow and the sugar rush peach so these are the ones that i have only four cells um each and then the rest of them are all eight cells and those are the yellow paprikas the bishop's crown corno de toro pimento pepper tabasco pepper chinese five color aji sugar rush new mixed twilight aji lemon pepperoncini italian serranos and the long kai, slim kai and peppers. So I didn't have space in this. So in here now I have 20 varieties and I didn't have space for, for example, my orange sun sweet bell peppers um, and some other bell peppers. And also I didn't have space for my facing heaven. So this is the stray for now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually be taking um, some plastic wrap i'm gonna wrap the i'm first gonna um spray it with some wood so now i'm going to be um putting some water on here and i do have a spray bottle but it's in the greenhouse but i'm just gonna make some holes in here so i'm just wait let me turn this around so i'm just putting some water on here not too much, although it's quite a bit coming out here. And I'll just show you after it's been wrapped and placed in the rack. And then we'll put this light onto that rack um, to provide it with enough light. And it should be fine. Because I don't actually have, I don't actually have a grow light. But that's basically it. Okay, so the seeds have now been sown and they don't need light while they are waiting to germinate. And once they have germinated and they have the cotyledons, then they are going to be needing light, which we will then place on top here 
here or here so that it can um, produce that light that those um, cotyledons will then be needing. So what this plastic does, it just gives it some humidity and um, it sort of keeps it humid so that I don't have to water uh, too often or too many times. If I had the trays that had the, the cell trays that had the um, drip tray underneath, then I would, would be able to just, you know, pour some water into the drip tray and it will be absorbed up into the soil. But because I don't have that, I would need to spray this. And this definitely helps in preventing me from spraying too often. So I don't need to do it all the time. I can do it whenever I see that it's a bit dry. And then I can perhaps, you know, just spray some water over this. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, and I hope you start planting your own peppers. It is so worth it. I've been making hot sauces. I've been making green hot sauce, red hot sauce, all sorts of hot sauces. Um, I followed a Nando's recipe on YouTube and I made a Nando sauce. It came out beautifully. So, because I eat a lot of hot sauce, I cut up fruit at night and I put the hot sauces over the end. But it's just delicious. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you will um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. So from me, Khairia, at South African Homesteader, until next time.